Aerial drones have proven to be a big business. The industry giant DJI reached a billion in revenue in 2015 and is still growing fast. But a tiny Berkeley startup thinks there's just as big of an opportunity underwater. OpenROV is a company that builds underwater drones, uh, remotely operated vehicles as they're called. And uh, our goal is to democratize exploration. We're trying to make these low-cost, uh, accessible vehicles that people can use to see parts of the world no one has ever seen before. The startup is rolling out in a similar fashion as the early days of drones. The company launched a do-it-yourself underwater robot kit in 2013, and now it's finally preparing to launch its first consumer product, the Trident. Trident is made out of injection molded parts that makes it affordable to build, but also um, really repeatable. Trident can go to 100 meter depth, so that's three or four times deeper than most scuba divers would ever go. At that depth, we have 12,000 pounds of force pushing these plates together. Basically, you use a gamepad controller, just like you would with a video game. Um, and with those joysticks, you can make the vehicle move forward and backward, left and right, and up and down through the water column. While it's doing that, it's sending a live video feed up to the surface, so you can see exactly what the robot sees real time. So a lot of people don't realize that radio waves don't travel through water. So if you want to get live video up from the submarine, you have to have a tether. Um, that being said, we've created a special tether for Trident, which is neutrally buoyant. That means it doesn't sink or float in the water. It just kind of is suspended like hair. The robots are supposed to be geared towards early adopter consumers interested in exploring what's under the surface. So people can use it to chase fish around or um, go explore shipwrecks. You know, there's an unlimited number of things you can uh, do in this kind of uncharted world. But the company thinks there's a considerable opportunity servicing boating and underwater industries. Previously, you could buy remotely operated vehicles, but they'd cost usually tens of thousands of dollars. Our vehicle costs about the same as a laptop. There's been a slew of copycats emerging lately. While it's clear aerial drones have a future ahead of them, there's no existing market here for underwater drones, and Open ROV and others have a lot to prove. People always ask us if this is going to be a niche. You know, is it just some little thing where people kind of think it's a cool product for a while and then move on. But what we found is there are a tremendous number of people who are inherently curious about the world. Unlike the aerial drone phase where people were able to get a new vantage point generally of things they already knew were there, we're allowing people to see parts of the world that have never been seen.